Ain't no elevator to the top. You got to take the stairs. The elevator don't go to the top, man. Not in the world of success. You have control of this. Life. How beautiful it is. This belongs to you. This is yours. You're the captain. You're the master. You're the foreman. You're the general. You're the head. Don't give control of this to nobody. This life that you have been given, this life that you are temporarily holding on to, this life that has been just given to you for only temporary reasons has more meaning than you can ever imagine. Get off of Instagram and snap. And get off all these blogs and get into something that can really, really move your life forward. So many people in the world take life for granted instead of realizing that you have to take the opportunity to live it the best way you know how. Now on this journey of life, you're gonna face a significant amount of circumstances, a significant amount of challenges. You're gonna fall into areas that you cannot understand. And maybe it's not in a position for you to understand at that moment. Listen, getting successful, it's not a magic trick. You can decide to be rich. It's highly doable. But you first have to think it. The difference between successful people and non-successful people is here. I'm no better than none of y'all. If you want to be successful, you have to change this. This has to change. When you start to feel that you are in a position that you don't love your life, then shame on you. Because your life is a beautiful thing. And no one deserves to ruin it. No one deserves to control it. No one deserves to steal your joy. Your life is your life, and you have the right to live it the best way you can. You must discipline yourself and take full control and responsibility for the outcome or whatever it is that you are seeking at this moment. Listen to me, it's not what makes it hard is your lack of belief that it can happen. The fact of it is though, it's very doable. See, if what you gotta change, if you keep doing what you've been doing, you're gonna keep getting what you've been getting. So if you're at a place in your life and you ain't happy with it, you have to change something. But you have to make a conscientious decision that you're going to change. And it's not dependent on anybody else. It don't matter what your mama think. It don't matter what your co-workers think. It don't matter what your siblings think. It don't matter what your children think. It don't matter. They have nothing to do with it. This decision is yours and yours alone. There are going to be so many different things that you will embark on. There are going to be so many different things that's going to try to slow you down. There are going to be so many different challenges that you must face. But instead of running away from the challenge, run towards the challenge. Be able to understand that life has meaning. It has reason. And all of these things that you may be thinking that is so hard on you, just remember, sometimes you're going to have to go through these changes, these circumstances that puts you in a position to make you feel that you're not worthy anymore. But make no mistake, you are worthy. 
how amazing it is to be able to rise up in the morning and have that sun shine on your face rather than on your grave. What makes life so unique and so beautiful? It is beautiful because whatever you have that you may be facing, what you may be dealing with, life is still good. Life has so many moving parts, but life is always good. I've been around the world, man, because I've traveled, but I traveled it because I've, I've made myself uncomfortable. I have a life of convenience now, but in order to get the life of convenience, you got to have a very uncomfortable life. You got to get comfortable being uncomfortable. Stop trying to do everything the short way. Stop trying to figure out the easy way because the ain't gonna happen. I got news for you, man. It's not happening, young people. You got to get, you got to get messed up sometimes. You got to get dirty. You got to get your feelings hurt. You got to get disappointed. You got to get told no. You gonna ask somebody for some money. He gonna tell you no. But at least then, when I see somebody trying and I tell them no, I try to at least give them something else. See, I'm not going to hand you a fish sandwich. I'll teach you how to fish.